Hi, my name is Sarah Marshall and I work here at the UF Sensory Facility. Um, I used to be the lab manager for five years and now I'm a full-time PhD student and today I'm going to walk you through how we do sensory testing. So for our example today, we have selected four different orange juices. One, one reason we did orange juice is because Florida is um, a big grower of oranges. And we have a Simply Orange Juice, a Publix Original, a Green Wise Publix Orange Juice, and a Tropicana Orange Juice. As you guys might be pretty familiar with Tropicana and Simply Orange. They're two of the biggest orange juice brands on the market. So what we would do for, for example, Simply Orange might contact us to run a sensory test and they want to compare it to some of their competitors and to see if their product is better or what about their products people like or dislike compared to other products that they might be competing for or competing against. And so what we would do is we'd set up a sensory test and we would evaluate all the samples and then we would give um, the data back to the company and so that they could see maybe where they could have some improvements or maybe that their product is one of the better products in the marketplace. So in order to run a sensory test, what we first want to do is make sure that the samples are blinded. So you can see we have a three digit code for each of these samples and that helps to prevent any bias. For example, if I gave you a tray and I said this is a Simply Orange brand, this is a Public Orange brand, this is the Green Wise Organic Orange Juice, and this is the Tropicana, you might already have in your mind that you think you're going to like Simply better. And we don't want there to be any branding, we want it to basically be a completely blinded test so that you're not being influenced by the brands and that's why we use these three digit randomized codes. Um, then what we also will do is in order to prevent any position bias between the samples is we will randomize the order of presentation of each sample on the tray that we're going to give to the panelists. So if you can see here, each of these cups that have the orange juice in it have the three digit code. And for this one, this is for the panelist number one. It's going to get the seven sample, which is simply orange juice first, the five sample, which is the green wise orange juice second, uh, the 340 sample, which is the Tropicana third, and the um, 439 sample, which is the Publix original fourth. So they're going to taste left from right in a rainbow shape. And basically what we'll do is the next person will get a completely different order of presentation and that way that eliminates any position bias. For example, if you came into the uh, sensory room and you were really thirsty, you might find that first one, first sample really quenches your thirst because you have this feeling of thirst and the first thing you, you drink is going to fulfill that and you might rate it higher than the other samples on the um, tray. So by randomizing the sample design, we can eliminate any perception or maybe you think like the, the, the song where first is the worst, second is the best each of those samples will be in a different um, order an equal number of times. Um, so that kind of eliminates any bias. We also give you guys a water and a cracker tray. And what we will ask you to do is take a sip of water and bite a cracker before you start tasting in case you have anything in your mouth from like chewing gum or you just recently had a sip of coffee that might affect the taste of the samples. And then we'll ask you to do that in between each sample just to help cleanse your palate from one sample to the next. And I I think we're ready to show you, we're going to do an example with a uh, panelist, how we would serve the samples, and we'll look at the um, types of questions that we're asking in the design. All right, are you here for the taste test? Yes, I am. Please sign in. All right. You will be panelist number one. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Taste Panel. Um, make sure that you register as panelist number one on your screen. You're going to be tasting four samples of orange juice today. Um, make sure the number on the cup matches the one on the screen. And you're going to be taking a bite of cracker and a sip of water in between each sample to cleanse your palate. All right. All right. Thank you.
Thank you. Here are your coupons. Thank you. Come again.